Hi, this is Ashley Fowler, reporting for UVM TV. The date is February 1st, 2006, and I'm standing here in Montpelier, Vermont, at the 9th Annual UVM Day in the State House. This is a day where President Fogel, UVM administrators, and students come together, speak to legislators, and talk about issues pertinent to the campus. We have a speech coming up from D Governor Douglas, a tour of the State House, and many more events. It looks to be an exciting day, so come join us. The purpose of the day's events was twofold. It served as an opportunity for students to meet the people driving Vermont legislation and as a chance to provide feedback about the university's needs from the state government. First, students were guided through a mock budgeting exercise by Jim Reardon, Commissioner of Finance and Management. Here, they were allowed to democratically allocate the mock state funds as they saw fit. It's all accountants, you know. At least it was when I went. Um, so what would you put in? I'd put in about 20% because 20%. I think that um, this sector of the budget is one of the only sectors that if you promote highly will return, like it'll be a return investment and in that you'll have more tax dollars coming back. More tax dollars, very good thought. This gave participants insight as to how difficult it can be to reach a consensus on matters of state finances. This, this exercise, uh, Slicing the Pie, is it's kind of amusing and really educational at the same time, where we've got people proposing 30% for pretty much everything. Um, but definitely I think what I'm going to come away from this day with is um, how ex accessible Vermont is um, and how you can really talk to individuals, even at the highest levels of government. Later, legislators from the entire state, including Lieutenant Governor Brian Doobie, sat down over lunch with the students and answered questions regarding the government and its relationship with UVM. In the College of Education, there were cutbacks with um, professors, but I find it kind of ironic just because we're looking for this expansion and increase in higher education when they're cutting back teachers who are teaching others in order to teach in the future. Um, I know that uh, the governor has made a, uh, you know, I wouldn't say significant, but he has increased funding to the University of Vermont. How that translates down to the world that you live in, I guess I'd have to say you're going to have to educate me, and I, I would be interested um, and gl glad to have that conversation. Thank you. Well, thank you, Karen, very much. Uh, welcome to Montpelier. <laughs> The highlight of the day, however, came when Governor Jim Douglas announced his new initiative, the Vermont Promise Scholarship. And uh, you're all at UVM, and I'm pleased that you are, but I've talked to some uh, folks in Vermont, some families, uh, who say, well, gee, I, you know, our son or daughter uh, was able to uh, go to UMass or UNH and pay less as an out-of-stater there than as a Vermonter at UVM. Well, that isn't going to work uh, if we're, if we're going to try to make it more affordable to everybody to, uh, to stay here. The major focus of this program is to retain Vermont youth and prevent the aging demographic from becoming problematic to the state. We're, we're very excited about the governor's initiative. We've been worried for a long time about the declining population of Vermont. One of the solutions to that is to harness the power of higher education to keep young people in the state and at the same time we're going to aim to play our part as the state's only research university in creating the robust economic activity that can provide jobs to keep at least some of those graduates in the state when they're done. Overall, the day was a successful venture into Vermont politics that left all participants better educated on the democratic process. This is Ashley Fowler for everyone at UVM-TV. Thanks for joining us. Stay chill and have a great week, cats.